With the great flood of 2020 still fresh in the minds of the Chinese people, heavy rainfall has struck again this year. Since May 11th, nine provinces and cities, including Hunan, Jiangxi, Zhejiang, Fujian, Guangdong, and Guangxi, have been hit by torrential rains, and 79 rivers have been flooded beyond warning levels. The Ministry of Water Resources warned that the possibility of flooding cannot be ruled out. In fact, some cities have already been flooded. A video circulating on the internet shows that on May 23rd, Nanning City in Guangxi received heavy rainfall, transforming the city into an ocean. On the 22nd, Wu Yishan City in Fujian also experienced flooding. Monitoring data from the Ministry of Water Resources shows that, among the 79 rivers, 34 rivers in the Yangtze River Basin, Wujiang River System, Three Gorges Area, Dongting Lake System, and Poyang Lake System have all exceeded warning water levels. The maximum exceedance range is 0.02 to 3.32 meters, and the entirety of Xiangjiang River and Dongting Lake System is flooded. As of 12 p.m. on the 24th, the water levels of Changjiang River, Luan River, Xin River, Xiu River, and others in the lower reaches of the Poyang Lake System exceeded warning levels by 0.05 to 1.65 meters. The water levels in the middle and lower reaches of the Yangtze River and its two lakes is 2.15 to 4.62 meters higher than normal, but lower than warning levels. On the same day, Wang Wei, the Technical Information Division Director of the Ministry of Water Resources, told the media that, from the current situation, the flooding this year is within normal ranges, but will not exclude the possibility of later flood development. Wang Wei emphasized that the relevant departments should focus on the flooding situation in the Yangtze River Basin and issue early warnings in a timely manner and carry out preventive measures. Following the first flood of 2021 on the Gang River in Jiangxi province, the first flood on the Xiu River has also been formed in the same province. Recent flooding in Jiangxi have caused 562,000 people in at least 66 counties, districts, and cities to be affected. According to information released by Jiangxi Province Xiu River Water Resources Monitoring Center at 9 p.m. on May 23rd, Yongxiu Station along the main stem of the Xiu River reached water levels of 20.03 meters, exceeding the warning levels by 0.03 meters, and is still rising. According to the flood numbering system, the first flood of Xiu River has been formed. Media reports state that the staff at Jiujiang City's Flood Prevention Command Center said that the water level exceedance at Yongxiu Station happened 42 days earlier than last year, and the water level is 3.35 meters higher than the same period last year, and is also higher than normal levels. Earlier, the first flood of Gan River has already formed in the middle reaches on May 20th due to continued heavy rainfall in Jiangxi Province. Additionally, at 8 a.m. on May 23rd, the water level at Jiujiang Station of Yangtze River reached 17.78 meters, an increase of 0.46 meters than the previous day, and 2.82 meters higher than the average levels during the same period. The water level at Hukou Station is 17.29 meters, a daily increase of 0.5 meters, and 2.92 meters higher than average. The water level at Xinzi Station of Poyang Lake is 17.44 meters, an increase of 0.51 meters and 2.23 meters higher than average. The inflow of Poyang Lake is 28,600 cubic meters per second, while the outflow is 10,900 cubic meters per second. Jiangxi Provincial Emergency Management Office said that as of 4 p.m. on May 23rd, the flooding since May 19th has caused 562,000 people to be affected in 66 counties of 11 cities in Jiangxi. Among them, 15,685 people were evacuated and relocated. 5,454 people needed living assistance. 40,700 hectares of crops were affected, and 1,700 hectares of crop failure. 11 houses collapsed, 58 houses were severely damaged, 428 houses were lightly damaged, amounting to direct economic losses of 380 million RMB. Since the Chinese Communist Party is known to cover up and downplay everything, the real situation of the disaster may be more serious than what is officially announced. In addition, Qiantang River in Zhejiang Province has also formed its first flood of the year. Zhejiang Province Water Resources Department said at 7 a.m. on the 24th 
that Qiantang River's Lanxi Station reached the warning water levels, and flood number one in the Qiantang River Basin has formed. The total amount of water stored in large and medium-sized reservoirs in Zhejiang Province is 1.68 billion cubic meters, more than normal, amounting to 25.57 billion cubic meters total. It has increased by an additional 485 million cubic meters compared to 8 a.m. on the 22nd. In total, 20 of the province's large and medium-sized reservoirs have exceeded their storage capacity. According to the forecast, from May 26 to 27, there will be rainfall in Jianghuai, Jiangnan, Northern Huanan, Guizhou, Hubei, and more. Mainly moderate to heavy rainfall, with severe rainfall in some areas. It is expected that the water level in the middle and lower reaches of the Yangtze River and its two lakes will further rise in the coming week. Among which, the water level in Xinji Station of Poyang Lake may exceed warning levels. In addition, June to August is rainy season, so it is expected that the middle reaches of the Yellow River, parts of the High River System, and Songhua River may experience larger floods. Pearl River, Taihu Lake, and Liao River may experience floods exceeding warning levels, and the Yangtze River and Huai River may see regional flash floods. Meteorological experts reminded that there's a high risk of local flash floods, river floods, and other geological disasters in northern Jiangxi, western Zhejiang, northern Fujian, and other places. So disaster preparations are needed. At the same time, last year there was widespread flooding in southern China. Since late May, the middle and lower reaches of the Yangtze River, the Huaihe River Basin, south and southwest China, as well as the southeast coast. Have all been hit by massive floods triggered by continuous rainfall. From June to early September, 70% of China's counties and cities were hit by heavy rain, with more than 700 rivers exceeding warning levels and several river basin floods occurring simultaneously. Mainland media called it the worst flooding disaster since 1998. However, in the face of these floods, the Chinese people can only suffer in silence. CCP officials seldom visit disaster areas to inspect the situation, and many victims who lose their homes have no access to any disaster relief or supplies, and struggle to survive. Now a new round of floods are coming, and many mainlanders are very worried.
，没样了，我还没，现在路都开不出去了。看，现在。幺三幺三，嗯。